okay so uh, you are able to see my screen lucky yes i can see that okay. yeah so we are discussing about the uh, integration procedures various actions right so today we yeah. are going to discuss about the matrix action matrix action which is available in the integration procedure okay so this will be uh, using calculation matrix okay we will we will giving some introduction about the calculation matrix what is the uh, cm calculation matrix uh, when we need we need to use it and how to call the calculation matrix from the ip that is nothing but a in, uh, matrix action only so after this if time permits we'll discuss about the cache block cache block in the ip okay mm -hmm. fine now let's consider certain scenarios <clears throat> mainly in the insurance or healthcare domain okay um, ideally if anybody is taking any insurance policy they need to pay premium amount premium amount for every yearly or quarterly so however the plan okay, based on the plan which he is opting so based on that he need to pay the premium amount but here some parameters will be deciding factors for the premium calculation okay this is an example actually now let's consider uh, one person is uh, his age is 20 years okay and he is uh, staying in some uh, maharashtra okay okay and he past health history is uh, he does not have any past diseases he is uh, fit and fine okay so in this scenario what happened if we taking this with this uh, kind of background if he is taking some health insurance policy the a policy premium would be very less around like uh, um, it's, it's just for example again maybe below 10000 per annum below 10k per annum okay this is one scenario now let's consider another person who is having a uh, 50 years of age okay and he is staying in uh, some hyderabad and uh, his past health history he is a diabetic okay diabetic okay and he is having some bad habits also he is a uh, he is a smoker okay and some he, he will be consuming alcohol also okay alcoholic so for these parameters uh, same premium will not be there okay this premium will vary since there is high risk right uh, based on the risk and all premium would be varying maybe around 20k so what uh, i mean to say here is we are calculating premium based on certain parameters based on certain parameters okay so and these parameters this calculation will happen dynamically okay dynamically we need to based on the inputs we have to give some output as a param, uh, premium amount okay and on top of this another uh, criteria for us is uh, these premiums whatever we are giving right these premiums will vary uh, based on any season like mm, now let's consider if any uh, dasra of, simply miss the way how we uh, go for dasra for the fall diwali offer right if some e occasion is happening our company is giving some discount prices right, and all right so during that time period again this uh, premium amount should be uh, adjusted according to the offer okay so all these parameters uh, we need to consider while we are calculating the premium amount right okay what it means if i tell you in one line we are giving some input based on the input which we given we have calculating the output okay so to do this what are the options available in the uh, velocity we have to check it okay can you guess anything from your end so how to do this just i am passing one input i am calculating some uh, uh, executing some business logic anything so, like your dynamic action or something no so our option number one what we are having here is apex the way how we did for remote action yeah. okay fine now let's see uh, whether this remote action is available is it suitable or not we have to check it first of all okay so first thing is this is a suitable but the problem here is we need to write this code in the apex class so this parameter age what is if age greater than 20 and 
past history is uh, no diseases okay and staying in north or south something so if this condition satisfying written 10k okay again else age greater than 50 and past history so like this we need to write code okay do you think this is a uh, good practice this is not a good practice because every time this uh, calculation is changing after one year or two year what happened instead of 20k we may uh, provide 30k 25k okay if let, what happened if some discounts are happening again and again we cannot open the apex code and make changes there this is the point number one and point number two as i mentioned you date range and this logic should appear this logic should uh, perform based on certain date range so again we need to put some if else condition is if today is greater than start start date of offer and less than end date data date of offer so like this all the conditions we need to manage now after this particular date is over again we need to do some logic so this is a very tedious job actually okay it's a, it's not a maintainable okay and on top of everything these kind of things will be done by only developer okay so we have we have one provision okay we have a provision if somebody okay instead of the developer if somebody who is admin who don't know any coding and all they need to make any changes here they need to make any changes here we need to give the provision actually okay so that kind of provision fine so for this kind of scenarios we are having a concept called calculation matrix calculation matrix what if all these criteria parameters if you are having in the excel sheet and that excel sheet you can upload and whenever you are executing this logic that we have uh, automatically velocity will call that excel sheet that, that will refer in the excel sheet and give the output okay so i'll show you that excel sheet now Okay, if you see here, yeah, I have created a uh, this kind of thing. If you see, this is an input. input is a input premium amount need medical test means before going to uh, provide the premium uh, we the insurance company right whatever the insurance company is providing uh, services they need uh, previous history also previous medical history okay if that person is old old means now we can give date range also here sorry age range old then premium will be the 20k and need medical test yes okay uh input is teen it's a six thousand and medical is we don't need any medical test young 12k and no medical test is required so all these things we are maintaining here only which means this is the input this is the input to this particular excel sheet what output it will give it will give two parameters as output parameter one is a premium amount parameter two is medical uh history is yes or no okay which means we are passing one input to this excel sheet this excel sheet written was two output fields how much the premium amount and medical history is required or not okay so this kind of excel sheet we need to prepare and we have to supply this excel sheet to the velocity okay so this is the background about the uh, calculation matrix you have any questions here no okay fine 
now what we need to do first of all whatever the parameters you need to pass as input what are the expected output everything you need to put it into one excel sheet everything you need to put into one excel sheet now what i did i prepared one excel sheet here okay fine i'll give some name to this excel sheet and store it in somewhere else okay then what I, what i'll do i'll open the omni studio in the omni studio you can see one thing similarly uh, data raptors and integration procedures whatever we are looking now similarly we are having a menu item called velocity calculation matrices okay open this velocity calculation matrices okay already i created some matrices okay i will create a new one okay click on the new keep the keep it as a standard only give some name premium calculator save it okay you created and you saved it fine now now go to the uh, related there is a two tabs you can see one tab is a details another tab is the related go to the related tab okay by default versions one version will be created as i told you in the background uh, whenever you are activate you need to activate version 1 or version 2 like that also you can do okay open the version 1 if you see default one version will be created we need to open the version 1 premium calculator version 1 okay okay if you scroll down here what you did open the uh, cm calculation matrix and went to the detail page from the detail page you selected the version 1 okay fine now you can see the table here you can see table okay you can see two options here add header and upload csv add header is nothing but the excel sheet whatever we creating excel sheet whatever we are creating that excel sheet uh, instead of using excel sheet we can directly create data here also okay but that is not recommended be because uh, what if we are having 100 records we have we need to give input as 100 records so that is the reason better to create a excel sheet that's the point number 1 and point number 2 is uh, this offers this input parameter the output parameters what they are expecting this will be not handy with the any developer or anybody they will be decided by higher authority okay they will be circulated across the organization okay so that is the reason we need to upload the csv whichever csv you are ha ha having actually okay click on the upload csv okay choose a file okay already i created one thing calculate premium open upload it close fine now you can see input premium need medical test okay what are these these are nothing but headers these are nothing but headers in the uh, excel sheet which you supplied here okay now what you need to uh, make the, this particular calculation matrix understand is which is the input which is the output okay that is nothing but a simple excel sheet you know that in that excel sheet which is input and which is output but uh, calculation matrix should understand which is the input which is the output okay then we need to select we need to select this as how which is input which is an output okay you can see the header type click here you can see drop down in the drop down we are having only two options one is input another is output okay that's the we have to select this field as input okay fine premium is what what kind of header it is it is a output header right select output and need medical test also output one select output okay fine if you want to change any data type also you can do here but mostly we don't do any changes okay and uh, display order also 1 to 3 okay 
after uploading here if you feel that any data is not needed in the column you don't want you can have a provision to delete also here remove column what what is it say one, one two three so like three excel sheets or something no no it's an order actually display order uh just a second i'll tell you you can see this is a and b c right oh, okay rows this rows okay columns yeah so these columns they are given sequence that's all nothing here matrix display order okay so after giving this uh, configuration you need to save the data click on the there is a button called save data okay for now you saved the data yeah now go back to related you can see the data whatever you uploaded here so this is the uh, headers this is our header okay i click on the view fine so till here fine right now what we need to do you need to enable this particular version you need to enable this version you can see one enable option is there okay click on the enable option here one more thing important thing here is uh, as i mentioned earlier this this particular information this particular calculation will be executing during certain date range okay the date range is starting from today here if you can see this start date time you need to select the end date time select the end date time as of now i'm selecting as a end of this month and i need to enable this checkbox save it okay once you enable it okay and provide the end date you can see the entire data which is available in the excel sheet here okay you can see this is a old teen young okay old teen young this is a premium 20000 6000 12500 hold yes no no okay and you can observe one thing here this is the input data this till here and this is the output data okay uh, are you clear about uh, this thing as of now yeah so what we are doing simply here we are uploading one excel sheet here and we are configuring which which column is input which column is output okay mm. fine and after that we are we are enabling this particular uh, matrix okay and giving the from date to date also now what we need to do our matrix is ready we need to call it from the integration procedure we need to call it from the integration procedure now go go to the integration procedure okay i created one integration procedure integration procedure test cal prop okay in this integration procedure to call any uh, calculation matrix what you need to do there is an action called matrix action where it is matrix action here it is okay you can see here right calculation matrix just drag and yeah. simply we drag and drop this calculation matrix here okay here you can see certain options option number one is uh, add input parameter this we'll see later before that what we'll do we'll see a matrix name okay here what happens whatever the matrix we created that app, that matrix will be shown here in the drop down format click here you can see premium calculator we already created this thing i'm selecting this thing once you selected this thing we need to supply input we need to supply input click on the add input parameters
input header name whatever we are giving here right this one input okay same input we need to mention here data source okay filter value is also i'm giving input this is input to ip uh, please do not get confused here what i am giving this input will be mapped with the excel sheet this input we supply to the ip are you clear yeah yeah now what we will do we'll go to the preview okay so now what we need to give here here give, give input okay now go to the excel sheet old teen young i'll take old one execute okay you can see this need medical test yes and premium equal to 20k so now instead of old what i'll do teen 6000 So six thousand and it's a no. Again, if you see here, dual uh, point five, no. Okay. So this is how we uh, do the calculation matrix. Uh, the main purpose of this calculation matrix is we should be configurable. how to configure the input and outputs okay any questions here no i'm fine okay fine then we'll we'll move on to the next topic okay now uh, what we need to understand is uh calculation procedure okay mm, this option is available when we working on the omni script actually okay we'll discuss uh, this when we discuss it on omni script now we'll go to some other some other actions which is available in the ip we'll discuss about that okay fine okay one important thing we'll discuss here catchy block okay okay so ideally what happens whenever you are fetching any data from database okay or if you are fetching data from the any third party if the data size is very huge right and if yeah. you are hitting it frequently if you are hitting it frequently what happens unnecessary we need to uh, hit and get data okay and you know that data is uh, frequently will not change you are fetching data from one master table okay that master table remains same yeah the table data will remain same okay and still you are hitting again and again and uh, fetching data okay so what you need to do you have to uh, extract data and store it in some temporary cache okay where Uh, you can go and hit instead of hitting the actual database you can hit into the cache this is a simple concept actually so uh, we have two options here in the integration procedures okay first option is entire ip will be work in a cache mode entire ip okay in ip how many elements are there all the elements will be applied with a cache for that what we need to do scroll down here cache configurations okay cache configurations so here you can see session cache and org cache uh, you remember same thing we discussed when we were uh, uh, working on the data raptors yeah. here also we are having option called session cache and org cache and these options are available only for the uh, uh, turbo extract and extract not for the transformations okay yeah. so similar same thing we need to apply here also you can see org cache and session cache if you want to put any data in the session cache you can give the time to live is how much time the data has to be resided into the cache 
in the session cache session cache means the person who is logging in and when he log out from the login to log out it will be stored into the session this is the first point and coming to the org cache but when you go on org cache what there is another setting is there okay what is this org cache uh, we are having internally one cache mechanism i think in this sandbox we are having that are not option that good okay so whenever you are using the org cache from org level we can reserve some cache i'll show you let me duplicate this tab so you can create a new partition here new platform cache portion okay when you click here actually this configurations will be varying from addition to addition uh, some other configuration might not be available in the dev addition so when you work on the real time then only uh, this may, some options may be available now what we, we are not this, this concept is nothing but uh, for velocity we need to reserve some cache in the when we purchase any sales port license for each and every sandbox there is some cache is there but we are reserving some cache for the our um, integration procedures data adapters all the velocity purpose things okay just give some name here you can see session cache allocation how much session cache you need to allocate how much org cache you need to allocate okay okay so you know you're saying that we are we are saving in cache right so will not this cache will not interfere with other operations no no sometimes no. we have to share cache sometimes to to get the things done yes what happens is when you are working on this thing so session cache and all we can do but platform cache for platform cache what we need to we are reserving some memory and whenever we are, we want to store into the platform cache this option you selected right here oh. platform cache if you select the org cache uh, this data will be uh, taken part from this thing and by default certain time is there if you see this time time to live in minutes after this many minutes which you are configuring automatically this will be flushed out oh deleted okay yeah this is the first concept second thing is uh, now let's consider you are giving it as a 2 minutes okay default it will not take 2 minutes i think 5 minutes okay default it is taking 5 minutes but let's consider uh, you are executing this integration procedure from one lwc component okay as soon as you, you are hitting this ip you got data within fraction of seconds you got data okay still this ip will hold your data into the platform cache for 5 minutes because you configured this thing right yeah, okay. yeah. then what we are having option in lwc you can forcefully delete the cache forcefully flush out the cache actually there are some methods are there we'll discuss when we discussing on the lwc part okay so that option also you can do to optimize the as you mentioned uh, now let's consider some other ips are also holding some cache there are 10 ips are running all ips are uh, enable this platform cache mode okay that time what happen unnecessarily uh, data will be hold on the plat platform cache right so to yeah. um, avoid that things what we can do if you are calling this particular component from any any lwc or any apex or any uh, javascript right then and there only we can delete the cache Mm. to avoid such situation actually okay so this is about the uh, platform cache actually um, remain this this is a important question actually we uh, in the real time very rare situation we'll do this but in the interview if you highlight this point okay this will be a good impression i implemented best practices we are facing some uh, memory issues something like right? performance issues then we, we enabled this platform cache and all uh, so that we Uh, we we improved the performance and all you can mention these things okay yeah. this is one important thing okay so this about the uh, ip level cache now okay now what happened uh, in the ip you are having a 20 elements or 10 elements okay so if you are enabling cache on top level what happens all this 10 will be in cache only okay any data adapters executing anything you are getting from the 
third party so unnecessarily waste right so to avoid that situation also we are having one, one more option called cache block cache block okay what we can do similarly the way how we did for uh, loop block and condition block we can put certain elements only which are the elements we are expected uh, to hold data to fetch data only those particular elements will keep in the cache block so if I, if i drag and drop here now since i enable this cache option 1 2 3 uh, all the four elements will be in cache mode now if i disable this disable diff i keep it blank okay then this will not work in the cache mode now but i want to uh, enable cache only for one particular hit which is getting data from the master data table okay now let's consider already i created i, can, I let me delete it okay you can see here right this is the cache block okay you need to again you can select this particular block from where you need to pull org or session time time you need to set okay but here the uh, small correction is it will not applicable for entire ip it will applicable only the elements which you are putting inside this cache block i put this data wrapper extract here so instead of now i am not putting anything you can go and extract data wrapper inside the block cache block cache master data get data from master table here you can select anything any any whichever the uh, dr you want so how it will work it will work it will be applicable this uh, cache functionality will be applicable only for this particular data wrapper extract okay and inside this settings this is a quite normal this is a simple thing only so these are the two cache options we are having now one is a uh, org level cache another is a uh, cache block this also you can mention in the integration procedure best practices uh, this is a important point okay the, any questions here no okay so you are practicing uh, daily or uh, you are getting whenever you are getting free you are practicing right not daily i am because i think some breaks happen <laughs> yeah, yeah, because of... from my end also actually due to this dasara festival right so we yeah, cannot yeah. take classes three days okay oh. Fine. now let's go to the another concept email action we'll discuss before this i'll tell you one small thing small configuration thing okay i'll uh, there is one scenario what happened mm, fine if you are applying for any uh, personal loan or if you are applying for any uh, anybody is applying for any health insurance policy then what happened the, he need to fill a form okay with his basic information fine then after that what happened based on his parameters quotation for his particular health insurance premium will be sent out an email okay in the email format a quotation will be sent or he will be receiving sms also doesn't matter but here the uh, sms or email whichever you are receiving that will not be received immediately okay that will be received after five minutes or 10 minutes you might have seen any situations in the real time whenever you are applying for any loan or whenever you are sub you, you are paying any payment right that time what happened immediately you receive an inf uh, sms or email telling that yeah, your payment has been done successfully okay 
this will be reflected in the st next statement okay so okay. what what i mean to say here is there are some actions okay there are some actions we need to execute the actions in the background we cannot take the actions we cannot execute the actions immediately okay so now if you take uh, our current business logic okay what we are doing here uh, we are calculating premium okay this premium calculation will not happen immediately before this what we will do we'll take inputs now just for testing purpose i have taken only one input okay instead of only one input uh, what we'll do actually i'll show you now this is a boys actually ua part okay and i'm having a ip here so in the os what i will do i'll give inputs so uh, this is ua part okay whenever we finish this ua part uh, hit will come to the ip okay yeah okay. here the business logic will be executed business logic means calling a matrix calculation matrix okay and it will give some output to home script okay but here the thing is now it's a simple business logic we are executing okay but instead of the simple business logic there may be a complex business logic where we need uh, very big complex uh, apex class we need to call we need to call some other uh, other uh, rules also business rules okay further thing it is taking much time if, if you want to call from integration procedure which which is in, internally calling some third party okay unnecessarily user need to wait until your uh, answer will be uh, you get some answer right so for that in this situation what we'll do this calculating uh, cm calculation matrix everything we'll do asynchronously remember this was asynchronously whenever we are submitting this thing as soon as you submit this thing okay we'll receive an information here stating that request submitted in 10 minutes okay this kind of message we need to show that's all whenever we, somebody is submitting okay this kind of message it has to show and we can close the application okay mm -hmm. and internally this business logic will will run it is calling ip but it will not wait till the ip is exec ip execution is finished okay so in this situation what we need to do in this situation what we need to do we need to run this ip in asynchronous mode from the omni script from the omni script whenever we are calling ip we need to run in asynchronous mode okay you can see here i think this configuration sir available here or not so we can you have again why you should be asynchronous yeah i'll repeat one more time now let's consider you are running some business logic to figure out okay. the uh, annual premium for that particular client okay yeah. and this logic should not happen uh, execute immediately okay ideally take a real time scenario somebody is filling a form to to uh, purchase a insurance policy okay after filling his basic details full name address age his medical history and all he will you can see one message okay on top of his screen stating that you are required to submit it but quotation means what is the premium you need to pay that will be received to your email in some time okay, okay. which means uh, in background some business logic will be running okay, okay. it is not necessary every time uh, we have to show it immediately after submitting request okay okay this is one scenario if you take another scenario okay so for example like cpq quotation will start in the background 
yeah yeah correct but okay. shipping condition so, or if you take another example but this now, email will not be in our control like when the email is sent after the quote or before the quote or you know that that's also in our control but before the email we need to execute the business logic right yeah that business logic will take much time and it is not necessary uh, immediately we need to send the uh, quotation if you take a yeah. real, re, one more real time scenario let's consider okay. you are uh, paying your credit card bill okay yeah if you are paying your credit card bill immediately will it reflect your balance no right it will take 24 no, hours takes 24 to... hours to say that exactly. yeah. so what it means some business logic is running asynchronously asynchronously you know synchronous and asynchronous different between these two things you know right same type yeah and different types so. yeah so synchronous means synchronous means there are some uh, certain steps you need to take care and all the steps you need to take care uh, one after another without any breaks means without any delay okay mm. asynchronous means if you execute something you should not wait for the replay from that thing you can move for, forward okay you are hitting it and you are moving forward now same example credit card example if i take in the credit card i'm having whenever you are paying the bill there are certain steps you need to do okay first thing is select payment payment amount okay then do payment then internally what happen uh adjust adjust your balance notify customer by sms or email yeah stating that your payment is done successfully okay so in these steps okay do you think the step number 3 is uh, need to be taken care immediately no we, we can do this step later also right yes which means step 1 step 2 and after the step 3 will be run asynchronously okay okay and step 4 will be run immediately because even the adjustment is not happened you can notify the customer stating that your your bill is paid successfully okay i will be adjusting your balance in background and tomorrow you can ref- this can be reflected into your uh, um, balance okay so this is a business logic now so yeah. this is nothing but ip yeah this is nothing but the integration procedure so this all the four steps which you are seeing this is a omni script actually in that these two steps are nothing but ui only selecting the payment doing a payment okay so this is ip from the os fine then notification also inside the omni script only so only this ip you need to run in the asynchronous mode so for the thing how we can do i'll show you actually this option running the ip uh, in asynchronous mode not present in the ip where we can do you can go to the omni scripts here similarly whatever we are having a menu options go to the omni scripts which means when you are calling it from the other component you need to decide whether it has to run synchronously or asynchronously okay okay this is a omni script uh, don't bother about this omni script actually it's a very big script and all right so uh, okay. i'll discuss in detail what is the omni scripts and all i'll open one simple thing this is a simple omni script where i can have integration procedure here you can see integration procedure this is the active one i need to deactivate it so when you are calling uh, ip from the os omni script you can scroll down here you can see one invoke mode 
in work mode okay yes. if you see here non blocking actions run asynchronously with a response applied to ui actions run asynchronously with no callback which means it will not wait for the callback actually it will just move forward so if you want to run anything um, in asynchronously and don't want to see any response from the ip select the fire and forget okay. which is in the invoke mode uh, this is an important point just uh, please make a note people can miss in the interview they can tell that uh, there is one ip i need to call it in, in asynchronous mode can we do that or this is a straight forward question otherwise they'll ask in other way uh, i'm having a business logic that logic has to be run asynchronously then how can we do that then you can tell that we need to create one ip and call the ip from the omni script and but when you are calling it from the omni script you need to select the invoke mode as a fire and forget okay. this is an important question okay so this is the way we can call actually we need to discuss about the uh, calculation procedure also but that option is not there in the uh, integration procedure it is available in the omni script actually okay calculation procedure and calculation matrix both are a, a similar kind of things that we'll discuss uh, when we're discussing on the omni script or that we can cover okay fine uh, you are clear on this Okay. Okay. We'll discuss about the email action now. Okay. Email action is nothing but as as we are discussing the same concept actually uh, when you want to send any email okay so when you want to notify somebody with the email then you can make use of the email action okay in the email action is a very very simple thing actually uh, you can select the two address two address list actually hmm? to whom you have to send the email add a recipient here you can add his email id with the comma separated okay you can add one more email no not comma separate thing you have you can select the add recipient second time also so is it pretty manual or can we do n mass of emails together yeah you can do that actually if you have having any dl right means any email id which is having a uh, group of people that you can do okay here. okay you list okay. that list you can here okay this is the uh, email address and cc if you want to keep anybody cc and bcc you can do and email subject here what your subject you want to uh, have okay body can write in it or go ahead email address sometimes what happen we may need to give from address from where this address is coming you might have received email no reply and uh, some email address if you do not give anything here what happen uh, the email id which you logged in right email will be triggered on behalf of you but you want to show from address something else then you need to configure uh, org wide email address org wide defaults for that you need to do go to the settings
are where addresses 